Hey, my babies, it's your girl, Kyra's Crystal Visions. Give me some boop, 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 dap, because you're the dopest and we know this. Hey, my babies. Hey, my darlings. Hey, my soul tribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, newbies, in-betweens, and my OGs. Brrr. Okay. Mwah. Much bandsauce to each and every one of you. Thank you for all of the love. Thank you for all the shares, the comments. Rocking with your girl always, okay? I love each and every one of you. And I am grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for all of the donations, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. It helps me. It helps me support my two kings, okay? Um, one is 15 and one is four. Those are my two babies. Um, doing this and other projects that I have on the low low helps me support them. So I appreciate each and every one of you that donate, okay? That likes, that comments, that shares my videos, that rocks with me, okay? I even appreciate those that Say if the message does not resonate, but you still show love. Sending you much love, much healing, and much beautiful energy so that you can manifest your deepest desires, babies. I appreciate each and every one of you, all right? So we're just going to tap in and see what's going on, okay? I'm about to make that a theme question. Because that's what we're always tapping into. What's going on with you? What's going on, you know, with the person that you've come to this reading for? All right. So it may be about you. It may be about somebody else. It may be about y'all together. So babies, let's see what your person wants from you when it comes to this connection and how they're feeling about you and this connection. Okay. Let's get right to it, darling. All right. So I feel like this could be a crush or a secret admirer, someone that has always wanted to be with you, that has been watching you for quite some time. So this could be either someone that's always wanted to be with you or someone that has recently been watching you for quite some time. But this person feels like you and them would be very compatible is what I'm hearing. This person doesn't want any soul ties, but they know intuitively, even through dreams and synchronicities when it comes to numbers, that you are a deeper soul connection is what I'm hearing. Yeah. So let's get to what is going on. So we have gossip. I am afraid of what other people will think. Now, intuitively, yes, I'm feeling that from your person, but I'm also hearing that your person is talking to a trusted friend, a friend that they hold in high regards, a friend that they have a lot of love for. And I feel like this friend is giving them great advice, okay? Your person in the past was too worried about what others thought of them and their love connections. And whoever this trusted friend is, they're telling your person to do what makes them happy. If you collective are a part of their happiness and a part of what's making them happy or will make them happy, then go for it is what this trusted friend is saying, okay? But this person, you know, they're a little intimidated by you. I'm gonna be honest, because you're everything that they want. You're the full package. You are this person's equal, okay? And I feel like your person, this secret admirer, this crush, okay? For some of you, you feel the same way about this person is what I just heard. So you could have a crush on this person or you could secretly admire this person. That's for some of you, okay? For the majority of you, 
this person has a deep crush on you, okay? They've been wanting to get to know you or they recently just found you, been watching you, and they're itching to come forward, make themselves known, and to, I'm hearing, sweep you off of your feet, knight and shining armor. I'm hearing, I would have did it sooner, but I was too scared of what you would think and others. Okay? Whoever this trusted friend is that they're talking to, they feel as though you are top tier. You're a great match for this person because I feel like whoever this friend is, they've been watching you too, is what I'm hearing. The next card we have is holding back. I should have expressed myself better, okay? This is what they're telling this friend, like, damn, I should have told the collective that I wanted a commitment. I should have told the collective that, you know, I'm low-key in love. I should have made effort to get to know the collective. But the friend is reassuring them that it's still time. And if they do come forward towards you and you happen to be in another connection, it's okay, okay? They're also, this friend, they're also teaching your person, okay, this crush, this secret admirer, how to accept rejection, okay? But they've been holding back due to their own insecurities, their own overthinking, thinking, you know, what will others think if I get in a commitment with the collective amongst, you know, healing that this person also had to do. But this person is ready to come forward. And this friend of theirs could be a bro, could be a sis. I'm hearing it could be a family member that they're friends with as well. They are egging them on to come talk to you. Yup, look at the bottom of the deck to come chase you. Okay, now it says, I don't want to chase anymore. Yeah, they don't want to chase other options. They're going to chase you. They're willing to chase you, but not other options. Okay, let's see what else. Hey, we have new chapter. Okay, so this person wants to move on from, I'm hearing, thinking pessimistically, thinking that you would not want to be with them, thinking that, you know, you don't feel as though that they are your type is what I'm hearing. Just thinking bad thoughts when it comes to approaching you. They're switching that. They're moving on from that. And they're starting to think positively, okay? They're starting to, I'm hearing, educate themselves on how to think positively about love and relationships and remain in that positive energy. But also, this friend, this friend could be a mentor of theirs. They are tremendously helping your person think differently change their perspective when it comes to you when it comes to love relationships you know their past the past options that they chose which was not healthy a lot of soul ties is what i'm hearing but you are a deeper connection and this person doesn't want to make any mistakes with you like they don't so this person is moving on from other options, a way of being, a way of thinking. They're really healing. They're getting great advice and they want a new chapter with you. Okay. Is what I'm hearing. No more holding back. They want to fully express that they're into you. I am heavily picking up on new love. I am heavily picking up on a secret admirer or a crush. Like I said, this could be, you know, a crush of yours. And unbeknownst to you, this person feels the same way. 
They are heavily crushing on you too, okay? So let's get some more. This person low-key felt damaged by all of the past relationships, betrayals, you know, a lot of, I'm hearing dysfunction when it came to the relationships that they were in in the past. Because of this dysfunction, as far as the relationship that they were in, they were in a dysfunctional, toxic ass relationships, okay? Not just one, it's plural. And this really tainted their view. This really put them in the category of damaged goods is what I'm hearing, but they're changing that. They wanna be goods. They don't wanna be damaged goods, okay? It's beautiful, beautiful. Inseparable, wow. Our love is always there despite the distance. This person is falling in love with you, is what I'm hearing. No matter if they try to stop thinking about you, no matter if they try to move on to a different option, their mind, the signs, their dreams, the synchronicities, it just full circles right on back to you. And it's like, okay. I'm not going to hold back no more. I'm tired of, I'm hearing talking my friend's ear off <laughs> about the collective and how I think they're amazing and how I think we would make a dope ass couple, okay? They want to come forth because the love that they have for you is growing. The more that they're watching you, the more that they're studying you, the more that they're healing, the more that their perception and outlook is changing when it comes to love and relationships, they feel as though you and them would be inseparable. They feel as though, you know, you would reciprocate the love that they, I'm hearing, oh, so are dying to give you, is what I'm hearing. So they want that higher love that you give. They want to get to know you with this new chapter. They don't want to hold nothing back. They want you to know all of them and they want to know all of you. And if they have to, you know, go around you because some of your persons have went around you and started talking to your friend or friends or family to get more information about you and they like what they are hearing. Okay, let's get some more. But they feel like, you know, you guys will be inseparable. They would never neglect you, is what I'm hearing. Because they're ready. They're ready, okay? Conversation. What did I say? They're ready. So they are going to call you, text you, DM you. If you work with this person, they're going to come and have a deep conversation. I'm hearing during lunch or after work hours. I want to call you and hear your voice. So this person definitely wants to conversate with you. They are itching to tell you like, do you know that I'm in love with you? They think that you're amazing in every aspect of the way. They also like to hear the sound of your voice, okay? You could be very feminine or very masculine. You could be very soft-spoken or you could have a deeper voice, okay? I'm hearing you could have like a hotline girl voice, very seductive, very sensual. I'm also hearing just a very sweet and kind voice as well. So they love to talk to you. They love to hear your voice. They love to talk to you. You have very interesting and exciting conversations, okay? Doesn't matter what y'all talk about as long as they're talking to you is what I'm hearing. <laughs> they're like, I can listen to you talk all day. Uh, 
And it's because this person is low key in love with you, to be honest. So they're finding everything about you just adorable, okay? They can't wait to talk to you. They can't wait to see the expression on your face when they let you know they're into you. So some of you guys, you may know this person, okay? And they could be very well established. I'm hearing fine as hell as well. And it's gonna surprise you that this person has a massive crush on you that is also your secret admirer that wants something serious, really serious with you, okay? But let's keep going, babies. What does your person want from you? They want to talk, okay? They want a new chapter. They want commitment. They want that beautiful love that you give. They don't want to hold back. They don't want you to hold back, okay? And they want to talk. Exactly. They want a commitment. That's what your person wants. This secret admirer, this crush, okay? Okay? I want you to be a part of my future. Beautiful. Just freaking a beautiful, okay? So you're going to be excited, okay, is what I'm hearing when this person comes forward. Because I keep hearing the feelings are mutual. So you know who this is. It's just going to be shocking that your intuition was right in regards to this person <laughs> They're falling in love with you, okay? They've fallen in love with you is what I'm hearing. And they want you to know it. They don't even care no more. They don't even care. This person could have a high status and maybe they were scared about people talking. They don't care no more. I don't know. Whoever this friend is, they're a great friend, okay? Now, this person has options. You also have options, but you're the top pick for this person. They will get rid of every other option for you is what I'm hearing. Oh, yes. <laughs> gossip. What they gossiping about? What they gossiping about spirit angels ancestors? Okay. Look, commitment. That's what they're gossiping about. Okay. How they can come forth and offer you a solid commitment. Yep, they know your worth. They know that you are worth it. Darling, do they is what I'm hearing. Darling, do they? Huh? Like this person can't stop obsessing, watching. I'm hearing drooling over you. I'm hollering. <laughs> they definitely call you a goddess, a queen. Okay. They call you a king for my masculines holding back but they definitely know your worth and they're like yeah i gotta have you boo i gotta have you you match my fly i'm hearing you're just like me so for some of you this person feels like you are just like them the way you think the way you move the way you talk how charming you are how good looking you are how you keep yourself up um the fact that you're a go-getter as well when it comes to your shmoney you're a good mother and father. This person is saying you're just like me. This person has a heart of gold is what I'm hearing. A giver, but they, they're they very particular on who they give their time, their energy, and their money to going forth because they also have been taken for granted, okay? Fresh start, clarifying, holding back. Yeah, like, this person doesn't want to hold back anymore. They are going to express that they want a relationship with you. And that relationship, as long as you go with the flow, you and this person, as long as both of you guys are accepting each other for who you are, as we undoubtedly and inevitably grow and change, okay? This person and you are going to accept each other for who you are. Okay, so they want a fresh start from you. They don't want you to hold back because they're not going to hold back, okay? They want you to see their worth because they see your worth through and through, okay? And they want to spend quality time with you. They really want to get to know you, okay? 
This person wants to take you on vacations. This person wants to introduce you to experiences that they know you've never experienced. It could be places. It could be, you know, environments. It could be activities. I'm hearing fun, excitement, spontaneous. So this person wants to keep the relationship very exciting, okay? This person feels like you would match it. Like you're just as exciting. You have no problem with taking leaps of faith. You're a rebel. You like to try new things. Somebody here loves to eat is what I'm hearing, okay? And this person loves to eat as well. So y'all could be experiencing or trying out new restaurants is also what I'm hearing. But this person definitely wants to spend, I'm hearing all of their quality time. Of course, they're saying that they have to be balanced, right? They got to go to work. They got to see their friends and other family members that they're close to. But other than that, they want to spend their quality time with you is what I'm hearing. Wow. New chapter. Yep, this chapter is a lot of positive change when it comes to your love life and their love life. This is definitely new love. Yup, blossoming. Wow, blossoming. Damn, this is love. Yup. Because this person knows when y'all get together, both of you guys are going to be inseparable. When you see you, you're going to see your person. When people see your person, they're going to see you. This is why, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You guys are going to spend a lot of quality time together. They actually want to spend all their time with you. But like I said, this is why they're going to have that balance because, you know, some of your persons, they have kids, right? Other family members want to see how they're doing. They also have a career, all right? And they have friends. So you will give them that time, but this person really wants to spend all of their time with you because you guys will be best friends. You guys will be inseparable. You guys will protect this connection and you're going to have each other's back. This is beautiful. So you and your person, the divine, the angels, the ancestors of both of you is giving you a new chapter in this new beautiful love from a crush or a secret admirer. Let's clarify inseparable. Okay, let's clarify inseparable. But it's safe to love this person, Spirit is saying. The universe, your spirit guides, your ancestors, you know, Archangel Michael. It is safe to love this person. We're giving this connection to you and your person, okay? Be spontaneous. I feel like you're going to meet this person unexpectedly. Okay, or you've met this person unexpectedly, but somehow the communication could have got cut off. Okay, I'm also hearing you and this person are going to do a lot of spontaneous, adventurous, risk taking, fun things together. Having, I'm hearing beautiful experiences that are gonna create long lasting memories. I feel like both of you guys are very spontaneous. So this person wants you to be spontaneous. This person wants you to open your heart to their love. This person wants you to know that in this new chapter that God is giving both of you guys, it is going to blossom, it is going to expand, it is going to grow so beautifully, the love between you two. This person does not want you to hold back from this fresh start. And they want you to know that they know you're worthy. They know and they're going to treat you as such. Wow. This person loves 
your spontaneity. You're fearless. They love it is what I'm hearing. But I'm also hearing how you possibly would meet this person. And you could have been traveling, work, a friend of a friend. You could have been out running errands and someone just stopped you and started having a really interesting conversation. Okay. But whatever way you met this person, you gave this person your social media. You gave this person your number and they've been crushing ever since. You could have met this person when you were out with your girls or your bros. And y'all exchanged social medias. And this person is going to be spontaneous and let you know that they are feeling you. They're in love with you, but they're not going to start off with that. You know, <laughs> they don't want to creep you out or freak you out. But they have been given the go ahead from your ancestors and their ancestors and the angels. And they've also been given a confirmation that both of you guys are going to be a power couple. You guys fit like a glove. Perfect match in every way. Okay, that's what I'm saying for some of you. You know who this is. Others of you, you know who this is. But once this person comes forward, you're going to be like, oh, it's you. Hey. <laughs> um, for others, you already know who this is because you're crushing on this person too. They're your secret admirer or you're secretly admiring them too. Yeah, this is your person, power couple. Wow. You guys are going to have like crazy sex, okay? Is what I'm getting from this spontaneous card. Like y'all going to be doing it everywhere, okay? I'm hearing Kama Sutra toys, positions. For some of y'all, y'all going to add threesomes, okay? That's for who is for. Y'all are going to have a, I'm hearing, live and enriched life. I'm hearing never a dull moment. But it's going to be very peaceful and happy because both of you guys are going to be loyal and committed to this connection. This is beautiful. Also, this person loves the fact that you're not clingy, jealous, or possessive because this person wants to fully reach their potential when it comes to their work. And they feel like you would allow them to. Because both of y'all are alike. You have goals and you have a purpose and so does this person. So this person loves the fact that you know that each person on this planet is an individual first. Coming together as a unit or a team, it just makes it better when both people are on the same page. And this person wants you to always be on the same page with them. Communication is key, okay, when it comes to this person. Because this person is an overthinker, is what I'm hearing. Let's get a little bit more conversation. What is the conversation, okay? This person is going to show you through love languages and body languages how they feeling you, boo. Okay? If this is a friend that has been itching to tell you They've been wanting to be with you for a long time or quite some time. They've been giving you body language. Like maybe they flirt a lot with you. They touch you a lot. Okay, so pay attention. It could be a friend of yours falling in love. Wow. So they want to have a conversation in regards to I'm in love with you. I'm in love. And I really want to see where this goes. I feel like our values, our morals, our integrity, and our ethics is the same. So why not, you know, see where this goes? Oh, I knew it. I knew this person had already fell in love with you or they're falling in love with you. And when you connect with this person, you're going to fall too. 
hard, very hard. Commitment. Yep, both of you guys have released the past. Past partners and past wounds, toxicity, trust issues. You and this person have reached a pinnacle point of healing is what I'm hearing. And you're ready for each other. I'm hearing both of you guys could deem each other as dreams come true, wish fulfillment. Because I feel like it's somebody you have a crush on too. And that person feels the same way you feel. But somebody got to say something. <laughs> somebody got to say something. It is safe to fall. Didn't I say that? Clarifying commitment. Spirit is saying this connection is safe. But who's going to make the move? I feel like your person is. They're going to make the first move. They are. But I feel like both of y'all have been watching each other, you know, paying attention to each other and like praying that this person is your person. If this message resonates, okay, that's not for everybody. For others, this is someone that is crushing on you. For real, for real, they're in love with you. And they are going to come forth and say something. And they are the full package. I can't lie. That's what I'm picking up. So it's going to be very hard to say no to this person. And they look good. I ain't going to lie. And they're fun. They're fun. They're funny. They're spontaneous. They're a go-getter. And this person is very communicative. So they're not going to hold back on any issues or how they feel. They expect a mature conversation because they deem you highly mature. Okay. Highly is what I'm hearing and emotional intelligent. So let's get some of what they're feeling. All right. What are they feeling? Can we just have some time alone together? So they definitely want to have some time alone to talk, but also, <clears throat> yeah, to do that as well. <laughs> but they really want to talk to you. I'm hearing face to face, but if they can't, they'll settle for a phone call. Okay. Let's see what else. What else do they want to say? How are they feeling? Okay. I am almost ready. Please just be patient with me. Clarifying, holding back, and fresh start. Yeah, because, you know, <laughs> they're gearing up, gaining the confidence. I told you they're a little intimidated by you because you're their equal. You have everything this person wants in a partner. And it's low-key intimidating. It's like when you're working so hard, reaching reaching and reaching for success when it comes to your finances and you're literally almost there and you get a little bit scared but you push through anyway that's what your person is doing at this time okay they're going to push through anyway and both of you guys are going to find this new connection very successful very loving very healthy yep a complete change from the past partners both of you guys been dealing with. I feel safe with you because I know you care about me and you care about who I truly am. Wow. Yeah. This is why they want this new chapter with you. And this is why this love is going to consistently blossom as well. Because both of you guys actually love each other. Both of you guys actually care about each other, your well-being, purposes, growth, health, everything. This person is going to text you throughout the day. How are you feeling? Are you okay? You need something? And you're going to do the same thing. And it's just going to be natural is what I'm hearing. Very natural. 
this person adores the fact that you love them for who they are because at one point in time they didn't even like who they are okay at the soul of them they thought they were weird or just different but isn't that beautiful to be weird unique and different they're accepting that why because you are their inspiration you accept your weirdness you accept your uniqueness your quirkiness and you allow them to accept theirs. You do not judge them. You love them. Remember, when you get in relationships, you have to love that person for who they are. Can you live with the person that you see before you? Actions, behaviors, looks and all. If you can, because love is beautiful, is powerful, and it's the highest energy of all. Because that person is in love with you. That person's going to change for themselves, for you, for the family that they want with you. And they're going to change because it's going to make them feel so empowered, I'm hearing, but sentimental and good that they found a partner that loves them for who they are right there, right then. So they can be comfortable enough to step into who they want to be. Still remaining who they are, but stepping into a better version of who they are. I'm hearing I owe it all to you. So maybe you secretly inspire this person and you have no idea. And that's another reason why they want to come forth. Let's see what else. I am done pretending, period. Yep. You have this person's heart. This person is obsessed and stuck on you. And they want you. Is what I'm hearing. They want you. And it's going to come as a surprise. And others, you and this person, y'all already knew. <laughs> y'all already knew, okay, that you and this person was meant for each other, okay? But this person is done pretending like they don't have feelings for you, like you don't have their heart, like they're not in love with you, like they haven't fallen in love with you. Like they don't even see you, okay? Because they <laughs> watch you all the damn time, okay? They know exactly what's going on with you to a certain extent, right? Let's get some more. But they don't want to pretend at all. It says, loving you has turned me into a better person. Wow. They feel like loving you will make them a better person because you are... I'm hearing evolution, elevation, expansion. You are an empress. You are an emperor. You're about growth and expanding. Plus, you will not tolerate this person's toxicities, you know, any type of negative patterns, behaviors. Whether you know this or not, by you not dealing with bullshit or what you don't deserve you're changing this person you're making this person reevaluate themselves self-reflection so that they can come forth and be what you want okay so in turn this person knows by getting with you they're going to continue to be a better person wow you also could inspire friends, family, or you could do this for a living, or you just write inspiring quotes, memes, sayings on your social media, or you're just a big inspiration, right? You love giving guidance and advice. That's just who you are, or unbeknownst to you, when you come around this person, you just say the right thing and it helps this person. 
And they're like, damn, you're an upgrade. You're an upgrade pretty much. And this person knows that being with you, around you, oh yeah, they're going to get top tier, the best of the best. And they're going to have to put themselves in a position to also be the best of the best and aim for top tier, okay? In whichever way that means to both of you guys, okay? Because everybody's happiness looks different, all right? I keep writing and deleting messages that I am too afraid to send. Yeah. But they're going to get the courage to conversate, okay, and tell you that they love you. They want you, period. I'm hearing one more, so one more. I wonder if I am really capable of being who you deserve. Wow. This person feels like you are a dream come true. I'm trying to tell you, this person is very intimidated. They look at you, they look at your accomplishments, how much you've transformed, how much you've changed, how much you elevate, keep elevating, keep leveling up. The inner work that was hard because the inner work is hard. You overcame that and it made you more resilient. It made you more attractive. And this person is like, shit, I don't know if I'm capable of doing the inner work. But I'm willing. I'm so willing. But they think to themselves, but what if I, I can't? Okay, so it's just a little pessimistic talk, okay? Are they still going to push past that? Like I said earlier, yes, they are. They are. And they're going to see that they're more than capable of doing the inner work, learning the lessons and being everything that they know that they can be for themselves and for you. Okay. Let's get a little bit more messages. Okay. Whatever comes out. We need to go over here for this fall on the floor. All right. So we have, I treasure every moment with you. Thank you for coming into my life. So when they come in, they are going to treasure every moment with you. And they're going to be so grateful for you. So grateful for you. You're going to feel loved and appreciated. You understand me? Every minute that you're with this person. Can we talk for a minute? Girl or boy, I want to know your name. I can't make this up. This is a secret admirer, a crush. Okay, I've been in love before. I didn't think I could love anymore. But there you were with love in your heart for me. Yeah. Some of y'all know who this person is and you're crushing too. And you're like, hell yeah, I want this person. <laughs> hell yeah, I want this person. This person feels the same exact way, okay? But they also know like... So much reassurance from a higher power, you know, God, angels, ancestors, spirit, that being with you, they're going to feel love too. Yeah. Thinking back on times that I've wasted, I should have cherished every day. All the different flavors that I have tasted can't compare to you. No way. Okay, so yeah, this person, like I said, we saw that with the options card earlier at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person has other options. Do they want them? No, they want you. Period, point blank. At the bottom of the deck, I want to give you every bit, every little piece, every little part of me. I ain't got to make this up, y'all. Don't got to make it up. You understand me? Now, what I like to do is get some advice or what does the universe want to say about this? I love these cards, the, the Oracle E. Okay. Let's see what the universe has to say about this person. What do you have to say about this person, spirit? Oh, okay. Hold on. We have magnanimous me. Okay. 
And then we have GPS. So Spirit is saying, this is amazing. Okay, amazing love. And we are directing you and this person towards each other. Okay? The love that you're going to share with magnanimous me is going to be forever growing. 1010, forever blossoming. Like, you and this person, the love that you will share between each other is going to be so magnanimous that it's just going to affect everyone you and this person come into contact with. They're going to want to find the love of their life. <laughs> They're going to want to be in a relationship. They're going to admire both of you is what I'm hearing. And this person is going to be at your service and so you will for them. Equal reciprocity and spirit is directing this person right to you or you to this person. Okay. It's going to happen very serendipitously is what I'm hearing. I hope I said that right. Serendipitously. Yeah. Because this person feels like you're fucking amazing. But this person is as well. Two amazing, chosen, beautiful souls connecting. And they're in love. Oh, you guys are going to cascade love. I'm hearing ex just ooze, exude love. Especially when y'all together. Between the two of you, everywhere you go. Like, people are always going to smile at you. They're going to be kind to both of you guys. But I'm trying to tell you, you know, the friends that you acquire or that you already have, they're going to want a love like you and this person's. I'm not going to lie. But that is the reading, babies. Okay? Spirit is saying don't do initials because we want to surprise you. Okay? So please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when your girl posting. This is the reading, baby. Claim it. Claim it. This is beautiful, okay? Crush, secret admirer. This is new love. This is beautiful. Until next time, babies. Bye.